Well, hi there. Cleo and I are out in the garden, and we wanted to talk a little bit about biodiversity. I thought I'd give you a little glimpse at uh, a different way to approach growing things. Now, we're familiar with the idea that if you're going to try to grow plants, you got to have, uh, you know, you got to blast the weeds out of there. You got to make sure you're giving them a ton of nutrients since so you got to add fertilizer. But what if it didn't have to be that way? Right here, I have an apple tree and this guy's about, I don't know, two, two and a half, three years old. Hasn't produced any fruit for me yet, but will soon. But this apple tree is not just standing alone. When you think of a normal orchard, you see all those trees in a line. Uh, this tree is kind of surrounded by a bunch of other plants, but all of these plants are here for a purpose. And so let me show you kind of what they're all for. This right here is an Amorpha false indigo. And I may have planted it a bit too close to the apple tree, but here's what it does. This is called a nitrogen fixer. And so this shrub grabs nitrogen out of the air and puts it into little nodules on its root system. And so eventually that nitrogen will be shared with the other plants that are around. And so this apple tree doesn't need fertilizer because it's getting some nitrogen from this, this plant here. Uh, this right here, this is called comfrey. And comfrey is amazing. It's a, a dynamic accumulator, so it's got a really deep tap root, and it grabs minerals and other nutrients from deep in the soil, and it draws them up into its leaves, which you can chop these, and you can drop them all around. And so I do this like a couple times a year. I'll chop this and drop it all around my apple tree, and then those leaves kind of dissolve into the soil as the, as the rains come, and then this apple tree gets all of those nutrients from the comfrey. Underneath the apple tree here, I have a whole bed of lemon mint, and lemon mint does a couple of things. Um, I know most people don't want mint in their garden because it does go kind of crazy, but here, I want it to be a nice big bed because A, it, uh, it keeps the soil cool and shaded, it prevents other weeds from really getting established, so I don't have to do as much weeding because it's here, but most importantly, this lemon mint is actually a beneficial insect attractor. Beneficial insects and pollinators and, and other creatures wanna use this plant, and that helps to make sure that, that there's a diversity of species supporting the plants that are here. You may not be able to see, but I've got a couple other beneficial insect attracting plants here. I've got milkweed to attract monarch butterflies and other creatures, I've got yarrow, which is here to, again, attract beneficial insects. And all of these plants support this apple tree as a what's called a guild. And it's really, really cool to see how nature, in its diversity, can actually support itself. And so this is totally organic. I don't use pesticides. I don't need, use herbicides. And so far, everything's growing really, really well. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in seeing how this is working out in my garden. Now, guaranteed, you could make arguments that the yield isn't going to be as high doing things this way. And sure, I do have to be a little bit more involved than I would be if I was just blasting everything with pesticides. But this is how nature does it. This is why you don't have to fertilize a forest. And here we are. I think it's pretty cool. That's it for today. Thought you might find that interesting. Talk to you guys later. Bye.